Hi, this is Philip and we're going to do a install of CentOS 5.5 and install um, Nagios and um, Cacti for monitoring external devices on your network. Um, so first off what you're going to have to do is go to the CentOS website and download the um, CentOS 5.5 DVD um, stick it into your computer and boot the computer up and then you should be presented with uh, the following screen. Um, I've just pressed enter and this is now going to take us through the installation of CentOS 5.5. Uh, we want to skip the test of the media. Okay, and then we get uh, this screen that says uh, Welcome to Sent OS 5.5. Um, let's install. Um, right, so what we're going to do is go through and do a simple setup so that we can install um, Sent OS and uh, Nagios and Cacti. Um, I've already written a script as well, so all we're going to do is just tell it to connect to the internet and um, download the script so we can complete the installation. So I'm just going through and setting it for my country. We want to remove all partitions on the computer and create the default layout and let uh, CentOS handle all of the rest of it. And this is just saying that we want to uh, erase the current hard drive and let CentOS be the operating system on there. Um, if you've got other hard drives or other um, partitions and you've got Windows on there or anything like that then you might want to check the documentation on the CentOS website so that um, you don't overwrite um, your other partition. I'm just going to leave all of these um, settings as default and we'll select uh, UK There we go. I'm just going to enter a simple password. Uh, make sure that you remember what this password is because you will need it later and it is the root administrative um, password so if you forget this then you're in big trouble. We want it to be a server. We don't want to have it uh, install any uh, GUI or um, anything like that. We just want it to be a uh, straight server. And there we go, we're now ready to install Sent 5.5. I'm going to pause it here and um, come back when it's installed. Okay so we can see here that um, the installation has completed so I'm just going to click uh, reboot and the system's now rebooting so we'll come back when this is actually started back up. Okay so the system's now booted up and presented with with the um, setup agent so what we're going to do is we're just going to configure the firewall to allow for a few ports so we're going to customize, we're going to trust eth0, if this is a sent box that's out on the internet you probably don't want to and um, trust eth0 but if it is, isn't rather, then I'd trust it. Um, for my network I'm just going to trust ETH0 and enable SSH, uh, HTTP, secure HTTP and mail. I'm also going to add uh, port one, uh, sorry, 10,000. Uh, that's for the uh, webmin 
and that's a web administration tool for um, Linux boxes. So we'll click OK to that and then we'll click OK again on this screen and that's all the configuration that we need to do on there. Alright, so what we'll do now is we'll log into the box as root and the password that we used earlier and we're going to go to the root directory um, so the, in this case it would be the root of C if you're a Windows user and we're going to do if config to find out the IP address information and this happens to be uh, 192.168.200.196 there we go uh, what we're going to do now is connect to the box with a SSH client so I'm just going to use uh, putty in my case So we'll do 192.168.200.196 and when the first time you connect to it with uh, Putty you'll get this uh, security alert click yes to accept and now what we're going to do is from here we're going to configure the box okay so we're logged in it's a bit bigger so we can see it. Okay, what we're going to do now is go to the um, root directory and we're going to do a wget um, to download the pre-configured script that I've made. So that's http stroke and this is going to be a monitoring system so it's monitor hyphen install dot sh and there we go and uh, now all I'm going to do is um, give it permission to run so to do that we're going to do um, sorry we need to d uh, download this into the optional directory so we'll see the opt and we'll run that command again just so it downloads to that directory right now we're going to give it uh, the permissions to run so that's chomd 777 and monitor-install dot sh or rather chmod there we go and now if we run the uh, file this will now go and configure the box for Nagios, Cacti, Webmin, phpMyAdmin, uh, MySQL and Apache 2 so we'll come back when all of that's been installed okay so it's now gone out and downloaded all of the um, files it needs to update the system with and now it's going through and installing all of them so we'll come back when that's completed installing um, on this particular install there's 113 um, items that need to be updated and installed so we'll come back when that's completed okay so the updates have now gone through and it's now installing the MySQL server it's now installing PHP MyAdmin it's now going and getting uh, webmin and downloading it and this part will install it for us now it's installing nmap so that